Hello everyone, I'm Rahul and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about the new movie review of Mission Impossible Die Rekuni Part 1. Is the seventh installment in the Mission Impossible franchise it shows why this the might be the greatest action series ever. Over the past four decades, Tom Cruise has turned Mission Impossible into one of the greatest action film series of all time. A franchise that continuously has pushed the possibility of what a modern blockbuster could be and found new terrifying ways of put Cruise into harm's way of our hour amusement after an integrating start to the series with a stretch of directors like Brian E. Palma, John Woo and J.J. Abrams and Redway. Cruise found his watch with Christopher McCure who has the helm the series of 2015 Mission Impossible Rock Nations. Ethan Hunt being considered a rock by the Impossible Mission Force IMF. Twenth and latest installment in the series Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 comes five years after the last film. Mission Impossible Fallout Dead Reckoning Part 1 acts as the beginning of the goodbye for Tom Cruise of the series of protagonists with also setting up who could follow in his footsteps and making this film a short of jumping off point of this new to the franchise. T and the keys he is again joined by the Luther Wing Rams and Benji Simon Peck and his path crossed once more on the Elsa Frost of Rebecca Franks. Hunt also meet Chris Hale. Or it will a thief who gets in over he gets when she gets in the way of Hunt's school. Dead Reckoning Part 1 also sees the return of the Henry Ridge Ego Kitten, who has been the series in the first Mission Impossible, and introduces us a prairie's palm cafe. From the most noticeable difference in the latest film of almost right off from the beginning in show how conflict can explain everything often here. An early meeting scene has again written explaining that Daniel, Kathy who saw the audience exactly what the threat is and who Hunt is, what the IMF does. Story is secondary to great action sequences in Mission Impossible and Dead Reckoning Part 1 showed the series still delivers a chase through Venice that put Ethan and Grace into the teeniest car possible continuum with and stake the excitement. While also managing some of the pretty solid comedic moment. Between the two will the film major twin set piece that has been teased by Fallout does use more CGI. Tom Cruise do truly mind-boggling stunt from the amusement of the audience. MC Square and Generation Screenplay also excel in a mixing our old favorite character with new. We all get the Ethan Benji Luther moment we don't expect but the new cast hints that the future certainly has potential. Highly actual grace that leaves the biggest impression as she certainly feel like she could be aware the franchise is heading the dead recording part one. Fine job showing us that the series would be in a good hand with her at helm. Recording part one is a plenty of fun and one of the best action films of the summer by fair, but coming five years after the fallout, it's hard to the seventh film to not feel like a bit of disappointment. Again, comparing the dead recording part one simply to other mission, impossible film is the you are essentially holding up against the some of the best action films of the 21st century. The speed of franchise brought of that series has never had before largely because of Dead Recording Part 1. Often feel like it's doing the more than its need to be through explaining itself, throwing it character or scene that just to go on fair too long. Dead Recording Part 1 showed that there are still plenty of gas in the tank, but maybe they are seeing that series needs a shake up to Tar Thrill. It's been. This movie is a B plus rating and Mission Impossible Dread Recording Part 1 comes to theater on July 12th. So thank you so much and please subscribe my YouTube channel.